Good morning, everyone. It's actually October 31st. Happy Halloween. And I have some company coming over tonight. It's my good friend, Candy. She's coming over to help me pass out um, Halloween candy, actually. She doesn't get any trick-or-treaters at her house. So every year she comes over here and we pass out candy. We do tally up the trick-or-treaters, so we'll let you know how many we get today. And I am so excited because now... It's cooled off and I can wear a sweatshirt. I am wearing biker shorts though because it's not that cool. So today we're gonna to be hanging out with Candy a little bit. She's coming over, um, oh yeah, she's coming over around 6 p.m. And I think I'm just gonna order some pizzas, make it really easy on myself. I've gone ahead and placed a Target pickup order, like a drive up. It's just for a few things and I know I could have gone into the store, but I thought, you know what, this way it'll make it easier on me. All I have to do is pull in, get what I want and go, or get my items and go. I also think I'm gonna go to the bakery and pick up a few pastries just so we can have them tonight. I think I've already said this, but I am gonna be ordering pizza, make it super easy, and that's pretty much it. So let's get this day going. As you can see, I've got my lights on. I've got my lights on today. Looks really nice. I like this purple and orange light. I do have these RPG lights here. I think that's what they're called. They're by Philips Hue. I got them during a Prime Day deal some time ago. And um, they're pretty, pretty cozy. It's pretty cool. I have it on fireplace right now. I thought it made it look kind of like fire under a cauldron. So that's why I have that there. Or... I should say that's why I chose that theme there or that theme. Hopefully I'm making some sort of sense. Also on the house front, you guys, I can't tell you. So it's been about, well, Tuesday. So Tuesday was the last time I, vlo I vlogged and I did get that video posted for Wednesday. I was really proud of myself. That's something that's really hard for me to do unless it's a shopping video because the, well, the vlogs just take a lot more editing. <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. What I'm trying to talk about is the fact that we are done. The house has been fixed. We're done with the insurance. We don't have to deal with them anymore. We're done with the contractors. I signed off on the paperwork on Tuesday evening. We're done. So I think I sh the last vlog I showed you guys, I had um, the, con the, the contractor sent someone out to finish everything really quick that day. I think they just decided they were done with us because after the phone call I made with them on Monday, I made it very clear that I was over it. I, I wasn't rude, but you know, you've got to stand up for yourself because if you don't, these people just continue to take advantage of you. So I finally stood up for myself and lo and behold, they came out Tuesday, they got it done. I, I think I, yeah, I showed you everything except I didn't show you the front. So I will show you that today, but I'm just, I'm just elated that it's done. It's so done. I'm so happy. It's so done. Wait, what am I saying? I'm trying to say, I'm just so happy. Can you tell I'm excited? So I'm going to take you guys with me today and I've lost my train of thought because I'm just so darn happy about having it all done. But I do have I do want to say 
I, I do realize that the damage we had to my house, this was like during May, like May 28th. I realized that damage was nothing compared to what some of the people are going through now. I, I mean, some people completely lost everything. Some people lost their lives. I just, when I think about everything we went through with like after the storm, dealing with insurance and contractors and mostly insurance, honestly, I just, my heart really goes out to those people because it's like they've gone through this terrible thing and now they have to deal with insurance because to me, that was the worst part of it. Like the storm damage, it was awful, but the insurance company, like you think you're paying, you're paying the company. So you think they're there to help you. But the truth is the, the insurance companies, they're not there to help you. They're there to make money. And that's something I learned. I was very ignorant of the whole situation. I mean, we, we've we never had an experience like that before with our insurance company, but I'll tell you this whole experience really woke, it woke us up. I do have the, I do have the chairs up just because I ran the room, but earlier I'm getting ready to take those down. This is a towel I throw down when we have rain. We got a little bit of rain last night. It wasn't enough to be able to tell if we're gonna have a flood coming in to the house after the new roof. But it was enough to make me feel okay. Like, I think we'll be okay. And as you can see, these two are playing. <laughs> so cute. By the way, I loaded up on the candy this year. I was feeling so good about having everything done. I went to Costco and bought two bags of their um, $20 candies. So we are ready. Looks like my Target pickup is ready, so let's get going. All right, I'm here at Target in the pickup aisle or pickup section. <laughs> I'm just waiting for my pickup. After this, I think we're gonna go to the bakery. All right, everyone, I'm back from running around and I actually got that done in pretty good time. It took me about an hour, maybe hour and a half. So here's everything I got from Target. A bag of Chex Mix, some paper plates, Diet Coke for candy, that's her favorite drink, some reuse, um, disposable cups, and I have one of these, but I wanted to replace, my, or replace it because it's broken. At Tesla Life, I grabbed a pack of these heating, they're, it's like a heating pad, but it's not reusable. And I bought these for my lower back. It's been bothering me lately, and I feel like this might help. And I did pick up a two pack of foot peeling packs, foot peeling pack, it's a, it's a box of two. In H Mart, I grabbed this for lunch. It's basically just rice with a slice of Spam and some seaweed. I forgot that we're having pizza and I know that Candy's probably gonna want a salad with that. So I, I grabbed this. This is all at H Mart. And then at 85 Degrees Bakery, I grabbed these here. These are like a lemon puff, I think they were calling them. I grabbed some cookies because I'm not gonna be baking today. And then I grabbed this maple loaf. It's actually pretty big for the price I paid, not too bad. And that's everything. Later today, I'm gonna to call in an order for pizza and I will pick that up later. And right now, I'm just gonna put everything away. We've got Gidget over here. Hey, Gidget. She's so funny. So about a month or two back, I did find these in the Target dollar section. I got these for a dollar and it's, it's kind of funny. I, gra I did grab two. It's got skeleton hands for the forks. For the spoon, it's a skull. And then I think for the knife, it's basically like um, a leg bone or something, maybe a femur. But I think we'll use that because that's fun. The other pack, Gidget, please leave my hat alone, pretty girl. I did move the skeleton over today because I just thought he looked better here. And since it is Halloween, we want him to be out and about. I did put the other 
cutlery, cutlery set over here in my witch's brew mug. I just kind of put them on display because they were they were just fun to look at. And I like how they look in the cauldron. All right, so now I'm just gonna put everything away and I will check back in with you a little later. I've been cleaning. I haven't been filming it because I've been pretty busy just trying to get it everything done. It's 206. I did go ahead and wash these and the cup. I think I'm gonna use the ones I've already opened and display them in the mug on the kitchen table. So that's what I've done there. They're drying. Dishes are going. All I need to do now is mop. But I, the reason I picked up the camera was to show you this. Look at that cutie. Gidget, are you sitting in the skeleton's lap, my dear? Hello. <laughs> I just thought that was so sweet. Look at that cutie pie. Well, you're a cutie pie too. You want to go outside? What, you want to go outside? Is that what you're telling me? Okay, let's go. Have fun. Be a good girl. Boo. everyone it's the next day november 1st it's all saints day so i need to go to church today and i think i'm going to go at noon it's actually 10 30 right now i had a late morning i slept in until eight and actually my dog let me <laughs> it's kind of a surprise by that but today i do have to pick up her medicine for her um it's called some parka trio it's it's for her fleas heartworm and something else i can't remember but, um, oh, I also thought it would be kind of fun for us to go and see what kind of clearance there is after Halloween. I know Target always marks everything down and I'm going to go, to, I'm thinking of going to Marshall's and Home Goods. But by the time I get done with mass, it's going to be after one and it gets so busy around that time. So we'll see just how much I get done. I actually meant to do some shopping this week so I could film a shop with me. But um, I got so busy with this, the work being done and then with Halloween, I got a little behind this week. So hopefully I can get something filmed for a Saturday video. So right now, let me show you the weather. It's actually really nice. I, I actually, um, I really like a good cozy, like overcast day. Like I think I would thrive in Seattle because from what I hear, they get a ton of rain 
and it's pretty gloomy over there. But let me show you our weather. Okay, well, lighting's not too good right now, but that's okay. Um, as you can see, it's all overcast and gloomy, just the way I like it. And also, I don't know what happened to me, but last night I got a spurt of energy after Candy left, and I put away all my Halloween. And when I say all of it, I didn't really put that much up this year, just the few things I had in here. What's the matter? You wanna go outside? I think she sees a squirrel and um <laughs> i had a few things on my mantle in my room and i i just put everything away last night as quickly as i could because i was not wanting to deal with it deal with it today i knew i would be tired i knew that i would be tired today and definitely i am i'm feeling it in my hip and in my back <laughs> So hopefully I can get some stuff done that I need to. I really don't feel very motivated, but I do need to get this stuff done. And I thought I'd bring you guys along with me again today. So let's uh, get going. All the Halloween they have is right in this area. So let's see. These slippers are now $10 down from 15. This blanket is now 13. We have a table runner for 850. 350 for this dog toy. Mm -hmm. 